And now we going up, man. Only way is up, man. You feel me? And if I could tell anything to my fans, man, love yourself, man. Stay focused, man. It's going to be doubts. It's going to be a lot of times when you doubt yourself and you feel like you ain't going to get to the point where you going to get, but that's just the devil talking to you. You feel me? You got to, like, keep God first and just know your purpose of life. You feel me? And once you do learn your purpose of life, you're going to know everything that's not worth living for. It ain't going to worth your time. You feel me? You're just going to be focused on getting to where you want to go. You feel me? So love yourself. You feel me? Stay confident. Keep good people around you. Stay positive. You feel me? And if you truly got a dream, go get that shit. You feel me? Say you're going to get there. You feel me? Manifest that shit. You feel me? The power of the tongue is so powerful. You feel me? Always watch what you say. Like, never say nothing bad about yourself. You feel me? You just uplift yourself at all times. You feel me? You can do anything in this world. You feel me? And that's no cap. You feel me? So... Just remember, I said this, you feel me? Because we are going to come back and look at this bitch. And next time I come back on this yes, bitch, sir. we all going to be up on this bitch, you feel me? We going to yes, be sir. moving crazy, you feel me? Everybody just going to be looking good, having that shit on. Put that shit on. Get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up, man. Game, we outside, man. Yeah, I know what's going on. We recording? Yeah, we recording. Go ahead, bro. He said, yeah, I got racks on me. got packs on me. I ain't know. <laughs> you ain't no shit. I got shit inside your soul. <laughs> Stop playing with it, man. I know we got no building. I don't know, yo. yo we got the him, man. fucking hey, Prince of yeah. New Jersey in here, man. The trap Michael Jackson. Hey, yes, sir. We outside. You know what I'm saying? We got Max YB in the building. You yes, know. sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. We exactly. outside, nigga, man. Exactly. Jersey, man. Jersey City shit. Prince of New Jersey shit. Exactly. You feel me? Y'all know what's New Jersey going on, in the fucking man. building. Y'all nigga working hard, man. You feel me? Life is good, man. For real. Exactly. How you I, feeling, bro? I'm feeling good, man. I appreciate y'all for having me here. Of course. Real, we appreciate man. you for making time for us, man. You know, we know you're a busy man. We see you got a lot of things going on. Feel me? But when you see niggas working hard and niggas, like, got a focus and a, a goal they trying to do, and Back. you see, like, all right, we going to start here, but then we going to be here later, you feel me? I see that vision in y'all, so me feel me? So I'm definitely going to always fuck with that. Anybody who just trying to get further in life. You know, Word. So much appreciated, Love bro. to y'all, man. Keep Word. doing y'all thing, for real. For sure. Yeah, you was the hardest and easiest nigga to get in contact with. I ain't never had... <laughs> yo, it was hard as hell to contact you directly. Yeah. But then when I got in contact with you, it was like, yeah, give me five minutes. Yeah, he good. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, mind Gosh. you, I walked past you Word. so many times and didn't know, because I'm not from your city. Yeah, yeah. So when Andy, I was telling um Stone, like, yo, when they tell y'all names and shit like that, I ain't know what none of y'all look like. Yeah. And then they'll be like, yo, nigga from right there. You be right there. I'm yo, like, no, I that's don't. That's crazy. <laughs> I walk past. I'm like, oh, I finally seen the nigga, bro. But y'all was doing something. But like, y'all was shooting something. Yeah, you, I, yo, you want to know what's crazy, yo? Everybody tell me, like, I'm hard to get, like, hard to, what you just said, you feel me? Yeah. But, like, when you get in contact, it's easy. For me, it's only a certain niggas, couple niggas that can really get in contact with me. So, me, so shout out to Stone, you feel me? So, feel me? Bro just said, like, yo, do this, da da da. Feel me? If he said, I know it's, it's valid, you feel me? So, I, I, I tapped in with it, you feel me? And I'm like, oh, why I fuck with this? Like, yeah, we appreciate that. Fuck with the motion, you feel me? So, shout out to my nigga Stone, man. You feel me? So, what did what 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 music start with you? Like, did, did, was that something you knew you wanted to do or you was doing some other shit? And was like, yo, I could do this music shit too. I think I think music been in me since like the day I was born, you feel me? My family big over music and just like old school vibes, you feel me? Like I, I'm kind of like a young nigga with an old soul, you feel me? Like I grew up listening to, cause my parents older, you feel me? So mm -hmm. I, I grew up listening to a lot of old shit. Like, and like music just was like embedded in my DNA, you feel me? Like my uncle was a rapper. You feel me? I seen him in the studio doing shit. So it was like, damn, I want to do that shit. You feel me? And it's like, it probably started for me like seven years old. Like, I was like, I idolized Michael Jackson. You feel me? Like, that was my idol. You feel me? I was in love with his voice. You feel me? Like, and I'm like, damn, like, I started like singing and shit like that. You feel me? But this first song I ever wrote was like some gangster shit. You feel me? I wrote that shit at like nine years old. You feel me? So I've been around music since like a baby for real, bro. I, I love that shit. For real. So. <laughs> It's funny, right? Michael Jackson, your idol. Yeah. Fucks with that. So is that why you incorporate, I mean, incorporate melody with the style? Yeah. That's so so that's, that's that brings it all together. That brings it like, all together. Like, like Michael Jackson and Chris Brown mm -hmm. is like, I ain't going to lie, they got a lot to do with my, my sound. You get what I'm saying? Like, people probably don't even really to pay attention to that, but I'm strong on like cadences and stuff like that, you feel me? So if you go listen to my music, like you could kind of hear some of the cadences in a way, you feel me? But I just deliver it in my own way, you know what I'm saying? So, but like, I really look up to Chris Brown and Michael Jackson, man, Drake, you feel me? Like them niggas, like they, I study them, you feel me? So I'm trying to be like that superstar, big megastar type shit, you feel me? So 
So you don't look at yourself like a rapper. You look at yourself more like I'm an artist. Yeah, I'm an artist, definitely. I I, I would never like put myself in one category. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because I, I'm like a man of I could do everything. You feel me? Like I could rap, sing, do everything. But like I really love to sing. You feel me? That's what my my love is. You feel me? Like I love making songs with females, singing pain. Like you feel me? Just telling my story in my in my voice. You feel me? Like I feel like when I rap, it's turn. You feel me? Like it's gonna turn you up. But like. You really, I really could like express myself exactly the way I want to when I sing. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I feel what you're saying. Yeah, like that's the way I, I, I'm an artist. I want to call myself a rapper. I feel like rappers only, you only going that way. You right. can't make no left. You can't make no right. And I think that's the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. I think that's the beauty of like of being a musician type shit. Like, exactly. So don't don't put yourself in one box. Like, bro, that nigga a rapper. Nah, bro, I'm an artist, bro. I yeah. sing for you too. I, I sing for you. I write what you a song. You need me to do. You feel Word, me? Exactly. I play the piano for you if I do have like type shit like that. Crazy part is I never even wrote a song before though. That's the crazy part. I never ever wrote a song. Like every song I ever made, I, I wrote a song one time. My first song I ever made was some gang shit. I was a little boy, but like ever since I've been making music as Max Yb, yeah. I haven't written a song. I just get in the booth and that shit just come to, to life. You feel me? Like I hit a beat and then just be like. What's a song to you though? Like like, like what's a full song to you? Like time wise, hook wise, shit like that. Like what's a full song to you? Full structure. A full structure is, is a hook. It's gonna be the intro, like the little. For me, how I come in with my little melodies, whatever, yeah. you feel me? I do my little signature shit, you feel me? Then I get into the hook, you feel me? Facts. Verse, bridge, hook, and that bitch like that. Make it short and sweet, you feel me? Word. Some songs got to be a little long, but the, the yeah. world we live in today, the consumer mind is so short. The attention span is so short, they ain't even going, you no feel cap. me? Keep that shit short and sweet. So it's like, they, we want more of that, you get what I'm saying? So since, you, so since you've been doing this shit, like since you've been, like, like you at the level you at right now, what's the most memorable thing you could think of right now? World tour, Word. that shit was like eye opening to me, bro. Like, I'm talking about, I was a nigga who went from not being on the plane ever, like you feel me, like yeah. really looking at life as like this is what it is. You get what I'm saying? Right. And it's so crazy. Like a lot of people fall victim, like a lot of young niggas my age or even older, younger, but really young niggas my age and my generation fall victim because we don't see enough. You get what I'm saying? Hell some yeah. people, I, I I know some niggas in my hood, bro. They think Jury City is like all it is to life, and like they can't even fathom the fact that I'm doing what I'm doing. So they hate on that shit because they don't understand it. You feel right. me? So it's yeah, like you gotta watch out for them type niggas. But it's like a lot of niggas fall victim to that, bro. We don't see more life. So it's like when I got on a plane, bro, that shit was like in my dreaming. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that shit just it's it's crazy. You feel me? And it's like when I look at myself now, and if I could look back and looking back at the person I was, yeah. it's like I feel like I came a long way just as a as a man. You feel me as a human being, like just being mature and shit right. like that. You feel me? But like that was like the like being on a plane and just like taking all them hours going overseas. Like that shit just was crazy. Like I'm in Paris, France. Like I'm in, I in Dublin. Like time out. Feel me? Your first time being on the plane was going overseas. Overseas. Damn. Overseas, uh, bro. What? You feel me? Like crazy. I'm talking about like. <laughs> what? I'm talking about a nigga, nigga going, my first time being on a plane was going to Florida, nigga. This I'm, nigga went out the country. <laughs> Fuck I'm you talking about a nigga no, going on no planes to go on, to, on a world tour. And it's like, yo, it's crazy because when I look back at that shit, I went on two world tours, actually. You feel me? Damn, congratulations, bro. I appreciate Before that, bro. Before you even go any further with that, congratulations, bro. Appreciate yeah, let's clap it up for that, yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. Yeah. 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 Niggas do like like no shade to niggas or nothing. Like niggas yeah. just do open mics. Niggas do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like coming from Jersey City, North, wherever. Yeah. Niggas don't get to see outside of Jersey. Nigga, exactly. This nigga went overseas, my nigga. Exactly. That's crazy. Hey, yo, bro. and the, the humbleness to go over there. Yo, it's motherfuckers who never did that. Yeah. It's right. Hollywood as fucking possible, bro. Yo. Like Hollywood, like what? I did SOBs, nigga. Like I, niggas don't even think about going overseas. You you, niggas can't spell Europe, spell Germany, <laughs> none of that shit. And I'm telling you, bro, that shit is a different experience you get what I'm saying so it's like and t- like you crazy like you said it's like I'm real humble about it because like I don't, I don't think I'm better than nobody you feel me I'm trying right. to be better than myself you feel me yeah. like I just want to elevate myself elevate my life my son like you feel me that's all I think about like I feel like when you live life like just worrying about yourself yeah you applaud people you be proud of people like and you just like worry about yourself that's people problem like everybody worry about the next person I don't give a fuck what this nigga over here doing you feel me bro right. keep doing you me, but I'm gonna see you at the top. You feel me? I don't was no no down on nobody. You feel me? So that's why it's just the way a nigga was raised. You feel me? How I was brought up. Like yeah. like my that's DNA just like I'm just I can't, I don't got no hate bone in my body. You feel me? So I'm gonna be always humble. You feel me? Like I, I it's I ain't better than nobody. Even when I do get to where I wanna be, you feel me? Because I'm nowhere near I wanna wanna be. And I'll be explaining that to other niggas. Like bro, we still in the same boat. You feel me? Like nigga, I ain't I ain't motherfucking Drake yet. And to, yeah. 
You feel me? I don't, I don't got the right to be acting like that. You feel me? You feel I got me? you. And, the, and then when I get there, I say I ain't going to be doing that because that shit ain't cool. That's how you lose that shit. You feel me? And God, yeah. God sometimes, he like, he'll give us everything to see if we can handle it. You feel me? Like, he'll, he'll do that to us like as a, as a like, you want to act bad? Right, I'm going to give you everything you want. Then you're going to lose it. And then, you feel me? You're going to be regretting that shit. But like, Damn. where the world tour was crazy, bro. I'm talking about like, the atmosphere, the air, the the people, how they treat you is just different. Like it's just different, bro. That shit is so crazy. That's really Yo, so to 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 rewind from before the world was when was the moment when you was like, all right, this shit ain't this ain't this ain't for play. Like I'm not just trying to like what was that moment that that, that hit you like, yo, I need a manager, I need a like it's real now. Like I'm not just trying to make it. Like I'm I'm here. Like People calling me and I gotta get my business in order. Like, that what shit, was the moment? Uh, and that shit was like, that shit kind of took the joy out of music for me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But the moment for me was when I was on stage, bro, and thousands of people I do not know is like singing my song. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. they singing this shit with me. So I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa. You feel me? And then even when I, it wasn't even that experience. It was when I was in my city. You feel me? And I'm like, like, yo, people, like, I'm in a mall. People coming up to me, yo, can I take a picture with you? You feel me? Girls charging me and shit. Like, I'm telling you, bro, it get crazy. You feel me? I'm okay. doing, like, shows at high schools, and they singing my shit word for word. So I'm like, damn, a nigga really somebody. You feel yeah, me? So I got to watch how I move a little bit, you know? So that was, like, the real the real breaking point for me. Like, yo, I got to take this shit serious. But I feel like as soon as I did that, it's like, damn, this shit really serious now. I can't even have fun with it no more. You feel me? Because it's like it's a business now. You feel me? Oh, right, that's fine. So that's what took the uh, the fun out of it for you, the business aspect of definitely, it? Definitely, definitely, bro. Definitely. You feel me? Like, you got to be on point with this shit. You feel me? You can't just be taking anything. You can't let nobody play with you. Motherfuckers going to try to play with you. You feel me? And then it's like when you represent something, people will try to take your kindness for weakness. You feel me? Because you represent a certain type of way to live. It, you feel me? Like, yeah. as far as, like, positivity and just, like, standing on your 10. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm a leader, not a follower. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's like... Niggas are trying to take that for weakness, so it's like you just gotta be on top of your A game with that shit, and it'll kind of take away the joy from the shit. But then when I'm like on shows and doing tours and shit like that, that's when I have fun. You like, die. This what this shit for? You feel me? So Word. I gotta keep that in mind. So we we had asked Stone this shit, and being you know I'm you know what I mean you um said like being out, people running up to you, mm-hmm. girls charging you and shit, and then you doing shows and all the shit. How you feel about security? Oh, so I'm definitely. Like, security is definitely going to be with me, for sure. Oh, yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to create generational wealth, so I can't be risking my life. You feel me? Like, I got this diamond chain on and shit. Got to be secure. Like, you feel me? Like, I got to move the tack. You feel me? Like, I can't just be moving crazy. Oh, yeah. So security always a must. You feel me? So uh, I don't know who. I'm going to tell any artists out there, don't think you got to be tough, bro. That tough shit gets you killed, my nigga. Be smart. You feel me? Like, if you somebody doing something and you got a way to, like, take your family and bring them from... This to that, you feel me? You got to protect that shit, bro. You have that security, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that, you feel me? You could have gang with you and professional security, you feel me? So if it go down, you ready for everything. You got to be ready for all angles of this shit. Embrace everything, negative and positive, you feel me? So word up. Security is always a must with Max, yo. Word up. All right, I got a question from Max, though. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's Max's favorite song from Max? Damn. (laughs) (laughs) Like, if they walked up to you like, yo... We gotta delete your whole catalog, and you like, yo, that one song gotta stay. Like, that's my shit. Like, that this right here is my. You can't, you can't delete that. Like, what's Max' favorite song from Max? Damn, that's really crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. But I can't, I can't say a song because the way I put my shit out, it'd be like bodies of work. You feel me? So, so what's I, your I'm favorite a, body of I'm work? I'm gonna put it like this, right? right? I got no regret one, no regret two. I got my love and pain, and I got my hood pop album. You feel me? Okay. Those are all the albums I put out since about like in the last couple years. You feel me? So they all had a million plus streams. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all go tap in, do that. All my shit do a million plus streams, or independently, no promotion. You feel me? That's all like my like my strength. You feel me? So, but if I oh, could, yeah. if they delete everything, damn, that's crazy. Like I got two projects, right? It's no regret, and then the, the shit I just recently dropped, my love and pain. Like I put like. My all into them shit, I feel like, you feel me? But if I had to pick between those, I probably would pick. I say Think hard. wisely, because the next question I'm going to ask is why. <laughs> all right, so look, I'm going right. to pick my love and pain. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to bring one song off 
no regret and put it on there. And that's Shorty Bad, you feel me? That's one of my biggest records, you feel me? Okay. Like, that's that's one of my biggest records, you feel me? But no regret. My, my love and pain, that whole body work, I put my all into that shit. Like, my love, my pain, for real, you feel me? So it was like, I just feel like when you listen to my music and you go back and, like, see, like, damn, look how far I done came with my sound, my cadences, the production of it, how good it sound. Word. Like, my love and pain is, like, I, I I put a lot into that, you feel me? And I feel like it still didn't get its flowers. And it, that's one of them shits they gonna come back to and listen, like, damn, this nigga was really saying some shit, you feel me? So it was like, once I get to where I want to be, they, you know how they you get that one, and then it's like they going to come back and listen to everything goes, you feel me? Right. But, like, yeah. my, my Love and Pain, that project is just different, bro. Like, just the way I, I put that shit together, like, I just love that shit, you feel me? Like, that shit just, oh, man, like, I really put my time, efforts. I worked on that project for a whole year, you feel me? And, like, really, like, put that sh- shit together. I structured that shit the right way, so I really love that song. But Shorty Bad... That's what made me Max YB, bro. Like, I didn't put a lot of songs out. Like, I got so much music out, but Shorty Bad, that's the song that, like, yo, everybody knew. And then I started getting them other songs that other people knew. You feel me? Girls sing that shit so much, bro. And it's like, it made me look at, like, being marketable, different, like, being a mm-hmm. mainstream artist. You feel me? Because I, like, I just, I brought that shit together different. You feel me? Like, it was, like, real professional, like a mainstream song. And that's what I want to be a mainstream artist, you know? So that was, that's it for me. Word up. I could tell by the way you answered that. That shit mean a lot that to shit you. That mean a lot to me, bro. Word up. <laughs> Word Wait, up. You don't, you don't count war as a um. Yes. As, so that's five, right? Yeah. That's five albums, right? No war. Oh yeah, that is five. I forgot yeah. about war. Damn, yo, you, yo, you put, let's go, my nigga. <laughs> this is my nigga right here. He tapped in. I forgot about war. Damn, I forgot about that shit. So look, I didn't put so much shit out. I forgot. That's and I, I fuck with war, but. That got my shit on it. That's the shit I was singing. That's the yeah, shit. Yeah, got racks on me, got packs on yeah, me. Yeah, when know. he wanted you to, when he what's, wanted you to come up here, he was like, "Yo, go listen to War first, and then." Yo, what's crazy, bro? <laughs> it's like I like War, but it's like I don't know. Like, and speaking of that world tour, I dropped War when I went on that world tour. That's what's crazy about it. I felt like my music wasn't ready for that world tour. You feel me? Mm, so damn. it was like that's some honesty for your. You ass. get what I'm saying? Word. Like, I felt like my music wasn't ready for that world tour. When I went on that world tour, we got tapping in this, bro, for real, like. When I went on that world tour, I had just put that project out, and I was that was all the songs I was performing. Like, and like me as a performer, I look and like I watch myself. Like I be having like out of body experiences. Like I could literally see myself on stage while I'm performing, looking what what I'm doing wrong. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like I'm studying myself. You feel me? So it's like yeah. I'm listening to the music and I'm looking at the crowd. Like I did my thing. You feel me? But like, what I learned to do is like I make music. The way I would perform, you feel me? Like that shit gotta be a performance song, you feel me? Like if it's just like some, some a lot of them songs are war. I feel like I just was running through it and like I was tired every show, you feel me? Because I just was killing myself. Mm. So I learned how to perform. I learned about breathing and stuff like that. So I put that them projects together right. So it's like when I'm performing them, it's gonna be like like a movie, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like that's why I I fuck with the music I'm putting out now and the level I'm at now because I got so much better from war, you feel me? And it's like. I kind of like downplay the music I put out before, but that shit's still good. People still love that shit, but it's like, I love the shit I got now. Like, this shit I got in the vote now, like, I ain't coming to play. I'm about to go crazy. Like, I'm telling niggas, like, we seen, I seen the um, I seen the new drop with, um, with J45. Yup, Pick and Roll, that's a yeah. fact. That's going to be on my album, too, Max vs. Max, yo, you feel me? Nobody, I just, this is the first time me saying the name to my new album I'm about to drop. It's called Max vs. Max, yo, you feel me? That's an exclusive, drop that's the bomb. That's an exclusive, yes, sir, like. <laughs> Hey, that's he got it. the bomb. All I got is that. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that right that's exclusive. <laughs> that's exclusive. We got the Max versus Max. Y'all working on that right now. You feel me? So shit about to get turned. I got a lot of bangers on there. You feel me? Um, I got a lot of dope producers on there. Teddy Riley Jr. son. Teddy Riley son. Teddy Riley Jr. He produced a lot of work on there. He worked with Lil Tusi, um, Tusi, oh, yeah. um, Tory Lanez, Lil Dirk. He worked with a lot of top dog niggas in our industry so tough yeah you feel me like i got a lot of shit coming with that but that's my main focus right now max versus max yo you feel me so what's the inspiration behind that versus basically like it's where like the name came from actually like max versus max yo like i always like i got a, a project on soundcloud soundcloud called max a million you feel me so basically max. like i got a lot of different personalities within max you feel me so it's like it's gonna be dope like for my fans you feel me like they gonna see like who Max is, and they're going to see who Maxio is, you feel me? Like, that's why my head green. Like, this is Maxio, you feel me? Black side Max, you feel me? Like Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I got you. You feel me? You feel me? The chain, everything. Like, everything. Yeah, that, this, you feel me? This is Max and Maxio. Like, shit, he evil. This my love, you feel me? 
she was dark, and then you got the love right there. You feel me? So nah, that's fire. You feel me? So it's like you gonna see, you gonna see Max here. Like that's the lover boy, certified lover boy. You feel me? Max is like, all right. You feel me? Let's do it. You feel me? Like <laughs> we, he ready. You feel me? He turned that all times. You feel me? So it's gonna be a, a body of work that's just gonna like fulfill every emotion that my fans and whoever else I'm about to reach like can possibly feel. You feel me? Basically, like if you get mad, you be sad. You wanna be in love. You want to feel down. You want to feel up. You want to feel angry. Turn. It's going to all be on there. Max and Max. And you're going to see, like, the difference. It's going to be, like, two different people on this project. And it's going to be, like, damn, like, you're going to know it's Max, but it's Max versus Max here. You're going to see the differences. And, like, damn, this nigga really coming different on every song. Like, and it's going to be so dope because the way I'm doing the track listen, it's going to be a song. And then it's going to be who who it is on the song. So it's going to say featuring Max or featuring Maxio. So you're going to know. Oh, like, shit. Yeah, it's going to be hard. a dope rollout. So everything, you feel me? Shit going to be beautiful, bro, for real. It's going to be one of the ones for me. like. Yeah, where So tapping into your creativity mm -hmm. on that level, because that's creative. Yeah. Tapping into that, would you say that just came with time? Like truly understanding, like, yo, it's more than just singing and rapping. Like, I got to give you something to remember. Mm -hmm. You think that come with just time or you always was creativity before... I just open up my mouth and say some shit. I think I think it, I, it's both for me. Like honestly, I always been a real creative nigga. You feel me? Like I like I got a lot of pictures. Like when I was a young nigga, I used to be like, I just been creative. You feel me? Like I just used to do shit like taking my clothes and making hard ass jean jackets and shit like that, ripping my pants up, throwing bleach on it, just have, being creative, doing something. You feel me? Like. So everything about me is just creative, you feel me? So, but over time, definitely you get more creative and you start expanding your mind, especially seeing more. You gonna fall in love with different like shit, and it's like, damn, it's gonna open your mind. Like, yo, let me do this, you feel me? But creativity that always been like a strong suit of mine. Like, I just feel like I just want to be creative. Like, ever since I started making music, I always tried to been be different. Like, they even used to call my music weird in my city until I got a hold of their ass. You feel me? Like, yeah. they used to call me. That's how it's going to be. They call my music weird. Like, I, I seen people who call my music weird bumping my shit like they my biggest fan today. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. all you got to do is just trust the process. Like, believe in yourself. Like, I, sure. I, I knew, I know, I know what I wanted to do. You feel me? Like, I know what I want to do. Like, so, this, like, creative, this shit going to be my best project, I feel like. I ain't going to lie. Like, this going to be, like, one of them ones. For real. Yeah. So going into so going into your sixth album, you got five already. Like, what was the um, what was the process? Like, how you how you feel having five projects out? Because a lot of people can't do that. Yo, you know? I, it's crazy. Like, man, when you say it like that, bro, I ain't even look at it like that. You feel me? Like, I ain't even look at it like that. That's really crazy. Like, I'm about to be on that many projects. You feel me? And it's like, damn. Like, right. even on my SoundCloud, I got shit like albums on there. Like, exactly. Planet Maxio, Maximilian. I got um. Only, only for my fans. Like, I got so many projects. Like, I got so many projects, bro. I just been, and it just make me like clap it up for myself. You feel me? Because I really put a lot of work in to, nah, to do that. We got you, bro. We got you. We got you. We got you. I'm putting that work in. You feel me? So Thanks. I can't wait for God to let my turn come. You feel me? That's all I'm doing. Was waiting patiently. You feel me? I'm putting that work in. You feel me? At the end of the day, right. stay humble, stay of course, and that shit gonna definitely pay off for me, man. I already know. This shit written, you feel me? Like it's written. This shit is destined. Like that's just how I look at life now. You feel me? Ain't yeah. no, ain't no going down. Only way I know is up. You feel me? Only time we go down is when I eat the punani. You feel me? Right. So that's <laughs> what I'm saying. All right, yeah, yo. Yeah. You said you said yo. Some people, you know what I mean, in your own city, felt like your music was weird and yeah, shit. Like yeah. yo, did you ever like? How did that make you feel knowing like? Some of them might not say it to your face, but then you got the bold ones that be like, yo, Max, I ain't really rocking with that, bro. But like. How do how do, how did it feel knowing like, yo, do you not like it because you really not giving it a try, or do you not like it because you see it's moving me somewhere, and you not on on a ship, like like how how did you take the embrace that the city didn't give you at first? I I embraced that shit in like a motivational way because, like, I feel like a nobody can't tell me that nobody can't tell me my music ain't that you feel me, but I'm hearing it, but it's like I don't give a fuck what you saying you feel yeah. me like. I'm one of the most confident people in the world. Like a, a, a million females can tell me I'm ugly, right? My mother told me I look good every day. So you can't tell me nothing about myself because I'm confident. <laughs> you. you feel me? Like you can't tell me nothing about myself. You telling me you don't like my music, bro. Do you see where this shit taking me? 
I remember a nigga told me stop singing. I said, bro, why would I stop singing, bro? Have you ever been rolled first class? Like, I had to really break it down to him. Like, you feel me? And this is when I started to talk my shit because it's like, don't downplay me. You feel me? Like, oh, that shit, da da da. I don't like it. Feel me? A nigga try to downplay me. Like, yo, like I'm weak or something. I ain't doing the right thing. But it's like, bro, what you doing with yourself, nigga? You hating on me. You feel me? You want right. to be in the streets every day. You ain't mm-hmm. moving forward. Have you been first class? Have you war- did what I have done? You feel me? And that's when I have to break it down to them type niggas. You feel me? Because we don't brag to humble people. You feel me? I'm not no braggadocious nigga, but sometimes you got to let a motherfucker know, like, nah, don't, don't play with me. You feel me? Like, don't I'm care. working hard out here. You feel me? My, my, my son, mother, my son, they ain't asking for nothing. You feel me? I'm independent, bro. Like, you feel me? You ain't doing nothing. What you doing? You feel me? So why you trying to knock the next nigga down? I ain't talking about you. I ain't. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. You feel me? But I embraced that shit. You feel me? I, I I knew my music was different. You feel me? So y'all just got to tap in. Like, you just got to tap in. You ain't tapped in enough. Like, so this shit just ain't for you right now. But you will come around. And then when you come around, I'm going to let you come around. And then it's, you going to be like, damn, I should have been fucking with you. You feel me? And, hey, that's just your lesson you got to learn. You feel me? But Real shit. You feel me? Like, hey. Speaking of some shit like that, like, a lot of people get off in the city. Like, period. People get off in the city in general. Yeah. Like, like you said, niggas that hate on you and then want to come around. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's wrong for niggas that get up and they be like, man, niggas shitting on me when I was in the city when I told niggas what was going to happen? Niggas was shitting on me. You think it's wrong for a nigga to not fuck with niggas no more? Um, I don't think it's wrong. I just think everybody different and some niggas going to move like that. And if you ask me, I don't feel as though I would move like that because that's like moving with like vengeance in your heart and like, you you basically stooping your level low as them, you feel me? So yeah, I'm like the type fire, of nigga, man. Fire. Exactly, bro. So I'm the type of nigga, man, like, yo, when I get to where I want to be, like, I've I been doing that shit all now. Like, you feel me? I shine light on every artist, you feel me, from my city all the time. Yeah. You feel I me? I seen your videos. You was shouting at everybody shot from out the everybody, city, yeah. bro. I yeah. shot at everybody, bro. You feel me? Like, I didn't shout at everybody, you feel me? So it's like... Nigga like me, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to always say another nigga name because it's, it's enough money out here for everybody. You Hell feel yeah. me? So, I mean, I don't got that crabs in the barrel type mindset. You feel me? So Exactly. Niggas, niggas, that's cool for everybody. I don't think it's wrong. Like, niggas probably went through a lot of pain. I don't I don't really know nobody's experiences but mine. Right. You feel me? Yeah. So, niggas probably went through a lot of hurt and shit like that to be feeling like that, man. Fuck them niggas. You feel me? And that's cool. You feel me? Like, that's Word. you, bro. You feel me? But I tell anybody, like, yo, don't move with vengeance in your heart. You feel me? Always move with pure, like, pure of mind, pure of heart. You feel me? And just have a good positive energy. You feel me? God gonna take you further instead of moving like that. You feel me? Because it's Word. like when you move like that, you're gonna have a certain energy on you. And that bad energy is gonna always come back to you. You feel me? Because we absorb everything as human beings. That's just us. Like, you feel me? So when you tap in with your spirit, you're gonna be feeling all types of ways. Like, damn, why I'm feeling like this is cause you 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 moving with vengeance in your heart with hurt, you feel me? Like hurt Word. people, hurt people, you feel me? So we're so um like What's the drive behind you? Pardon being? me, I stay hydrated too, man. Drink that water. <laughs> you know what I'm yes, sir. Go ahead, bro. <clears throat> now nah, I was saying, like, what, what, what sparks that motivation in you? Like, what make you go so hard? Like, I, I seen another interview. Um, you mentioned you had got shot. Yeah. Is that, is that one of the reasons that push you to go the furthest extent? Like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this shit. Like, and I'm, I'm making, like, like I'm making my mark. And I'm gonna keep making that shit. Is that like one of your drive forces? To- I got a lot of drive forces, bro. Like that shit, like being shot, that shit was like a, a, a wake up call for me. You feel me? Cause like when I got shot, I was kind of, I, I and that shit wasn't meant for me. You feel me? Like, word, I'm about to word. sit up here and cap like, yeah, nah, facts, you feel me? Facts. That shit wasn't meant for me. You feel me? And, uh, somebody else caught somebody else, and I just was in the crossfire. And the crazy part, I got shot saving my little sister's life. You feel me? Cause she would have got hit. You feel me? So. Word. I had to save my little sister's fight. And I got shot on my birthday in front of my mother, you feel me? So that shit was some movie shit, you feel me? So, But in that point in my life, I was kind of like trying to be in the streets, you feel me? I got shot when I was 13, you feel me? Like I was like I was like in the streets for real, you feel me? Like right. doing shit I ain't supposed to be doing, you feel me? And like- You was making music around that time? Did, nah, nah, not, not even making music yet. I, I I was making music, but not like, I wasn't Max It wasn't YB. real, yeah. I ain't become Max YB to my senior year in high school. Like that's when I started rapping, like taking that shit serious. Right. Me, like, so, but word, when I got shot, it's like I was kind of being in the streets for real, you feel me? And that shit told me, like, yo, I want, I need to do something different in my life because I can end up dead, you feel me? Like, I, I can end up dead or in jail, you feel me? Like, and it's like, but, like, I got a lot of forces in my life, bro. Like, I'm where I come from, you feel me? I got shot, I got a son, you feel me? Like, I'm adopted, too, you feel me? So that was one of my motivations, like, you feel me? Like, 
I didn't been through a lot, you feel me? I've been through a real a, a lot of shit, you feel me? So it's like my mother raised me to be so strong, bro. Like, and sometimes I be feeling down. Don't get me wrong, you feel me? We human. That's just right, like human nature, yeah. you feel me? But like, I'm so strong, you feel me? Like, I won't ever break, you feel me? And like my son is my main strength, bro. Like, nobody can't tell my son nothing bad about me, you feel me? Like, I'm his biggest fan, his biggest inspiration. And then when it's like he see what I'm doing, you feel me? Like, I didn't took my son to New York and put my billboard up, and he didn't see that shit. Like, yo, that's my dad. Like, you feel me? Oh, he yeah. see what I'm doing, you feel me? He watch my videos. So my my biggest inspiration is my son, man. He keep me going every day. Yeah. You feel me? Shout out to the good fathers, man. Shout out to y'all niggas. That's yeah, really man. Let's clap it up. Yeah, man. There we go. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the good fathers, man. Real talk. And it's dope that you, you ain't not bring your son up one time, man. Everything we spoke about. That's fine. Yeah, bro. every situation. That yeah. That's fine. All right. I got a question because you done, you done, you done, you about to be six albums in, mm-hmm. two world tours. You mm-hmm. done told us your favorite tape. Now, the reason why I'm asking you this because I seen the interview mm-hmm. when 50 named the song that he regret making. Do mm-hmm. you have any of those songs? Like, now that time went on, mm-hmm. you're like, damn, man, I wish I never made that song. Or you just realize you don't like it as much as you liked it when you first recorded it. But it's like, yo, for your fans, they love it. Like he said, for him, it's in the club. Like, he said he got to perform that shit everywhere he go, and he said, they're like, I wish I never made it because I'm tired of this fucking song. Yeah. To him, it's corny. Yeah. It sound dated when they drop it. But he got to rap it, and he yeah, just nah, was facts. like... Yo, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I got mad shit like that, bro. <laughs> I got mad shit like that. Like, that shit he took about, I don't like that song, you feel me? My <laughs> shit. Turn that shit on in the car. That's I don't like that like, Fuck that. I'm actually on the car. You feel me? That, I, don't like, I don't like the song Bieber, you feel me? I got... But these are songs people fuck people with, you feel love, me? Yeah. It's like people fuck with, you feel me? Like, I don't... I kind of don't like the songs where I'm kind of rapping, rapping, you feel me? Okay. Like, like, I, I, I fuck with it, you feel me? Because I be having fun when I'm making that shit. It just fuck my head up when I be making them shits for fun and they do so well. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, it's like, oh, I got to push this, Yeah, man. like, man, man I was making That's this fire. shit for fun. Like, goddamn, like, feel me? Look at this. Look at that shit. I, I was taking seriousness making, you feel me? <laughs> so... That's when, that's when I started making so like, yo, I got to stop thinking so much, you feel me? Like, because I be trying to say so much. I be having so, so much shit on my mind. I be like, yo, I got to have fun with this shit, you feel me? So on Max versus Max, yo, I had a lot of fun making this shit, you feel me? Like, a lot of fun. Like, this shit dope, bro, for real, for real. Yeah. And man, I'm happy you found the love and the... And the, and the I'm happy you found the hunger to, to stay hungry even yeah. when the business made you unhappy. Yeah. Because yeah. you yeah. definitely said what, once it was time for the... I got to clear that scent. What? Yep. I used to throw this on SoundCloud. What you mean I got to clear that sample? And niggas be <laughs> asking me, like, yo, why you ain't, feel me, doing this out of dollar? Like, niggas don't understand, bro. That shit, they ain't, that shit ain't free. Like, niggas ain't, you got to put music out, bro. That shit take time. Like, you have to drop on a certain day. You feel me? And honestly, you don't have to do that being independently. But if you want your shit to do the right streaming numbers and the right algorithm of all streaming platforms, you have to drop that shit on a certain day. You feel me? Like That's crazy. You feel me? On a Friday. Niggas drop on Friday. Like, I didn't drop shit on different days, but, like, it, I noticed, like, on them Fridays, like, if y'all notice, like, artists drop every Friday. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you feel me? So I'm trying to be a mainstream artist, so I have to put my m- music in that algorithm, you feel me, of, like, dropping music. But, like, that shit take time. I got to send that shit to my distribution company. Like, yo, put this shit up. That shit, like, all right, it's going to take a couple days to put it on Spotify. This is the release date. You feel me? That shit take the joy out of dropping music, bro. Like, I got you. Yeah, when you're not you feel like, me? Drop it freely. Yeah, like, like SoundCloud, SoundCloud, that shit was easy. Yeah, I used yeah. to just, yo, bro, drop this for me, da da da. That shit was cool. Like, that shit was fun. You feel me? Go shoot a video was fun. Like, you feel me? Now I'm somebody. I can't just put out anything, bro. I got to make sure that shit look right. I can't. I can't go backwards. You feel me? My next move got to be good as the last move. You feel me? Or better. You feel me? So That's it's true. like, I got to just move tack at all times. You feel me? Word up. All right, you got to take us back. The first video I seen with you was on, um, man, I'm trying to think of it. It was one where you was, I think y'all, y'all was in the grave, y'all. Oh, you, which one is it, War? Is it War? I'm trying to think of the video. I know Guabo was in it. Okay, yeah, you talking about motherfucking, um, what's the name of that song, man, Guabo? You talking about Foreign Dreams, facts. Yeah, I think that was the first joint I seen. Yeah, shout out to my brother Guabo YB too, man. That's my favorite fucking rapper in the whole wide world, you feel me? Like, that's my twin right there. Only nigga who I started with and I'm going to finish with. Shout out to my brother Guavo. You feel me? Guavo yeah. I, B, I love you, nigga. You feel me? I love you for life, Guav. I just want to tell you, bro. I want to give you your flowers. Like, you helped me get through a lot of shit, bro. Like, you is my best friend, bro. You the realest nigga I know, bro. And this shit making me emotional even saying this shit up here, bro. You helped me get through mad shit. Like, 
I love Guavo so much, bro. I can't wait to get where I want to be and give you everything you deserve, my nigga, bro. I love you, Guavo, you feel me? Like, that's my brother, you feel me? I'm talking about a nigga who putting they check up for me, you feel me? He going to work, because I ain't never had no job, you feel me? He's seeing I got something going, yo, here, take my check. Like, this nigga going to work Damn. and giving me his Real check, nigga. bro. Real he giving me his that's, check. That's, 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 that's real. That's love right there. Damn. Come on, bro. Like, he said the whole can we clap it up for my brother? Yeah, fuck time, bro. yeah, bro. Damn, bro. I'm talking about this nigga giving me his check, bro. Damn. Oh, check. I don't know how much bro was making, me but Me neither, damn, but damn, bro. that's my this nigga. First of all, my brother, had, he was in our senior year. He got a job working for the city. My nigga worked for the city, you feel me? So that check was probably like 1500 so Word up. Yeah. You feel me? So a like, whole check? He gave me his whole check. I'm talking about... I, yo, I need a couple dollars. I'm about to go on tour, yo, bro. I'm about to go to Atlanta for a da da da. You feel me? Just give me something home down and flip this shit. I'm gonna bring it back to you. You feel me? Here, bro, take that. You feel me? He see it. You feel me? This nigga started rapping with me. You feel me? And at the end of the day, like, my drive is just impeccable. You feel me? Like, I like I could run a car with no gas. You feel me? That's mm. how much the drive is. You feel me? Some people don't. <laughs> some, <laughs> some Kevin Gates. For real, bro. For real, bro. For real, shit. I'm trying to tell you, like, <laughs> this nigga Kevin Gates. <laughs> he even put the hands out. That nigga said. That shit moving with no gas in it. You feel me? That shit moving with no gas in it. That nigga got drive. You feel oh, me? Shit. So, like, my nigga, like, my nigga Guav, like, feel me? He's, like, so dope. You feel me? But, like, he one of them niggas, bro. Like, he got a lot of shit to take care of, feel me? Like, so he got to handle his business, you feel me? So, here, Max, you take you take the lead with this shit, bro. Make sure we get there, though, gang. Like, you could do this shit, bro. Nah, that's real Mind shit. Mind you, we started rapping together, you feel me? And our inspiration was, we we uh what made me really start rapping for real, like, wanting to be a rapper, because I've been doing music since seven years old. I was around and shit, but what, what made me want to create somebody, like, create Max YB, I went, we, we skipped school one day. This is my senior year, 2016. We skipped school one day. We went to a free Future concert. Nigga, this shit, like, is full circle for me, honestly, because, like, I'm really a true, like, a true, like, a true story of, like, looking at something, seeing it, touching it, and obtaining it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I basically, like, I, every, I'm, I'm reading this Future concert. We skipped school. We left at, like, 5 a.m. It took us all day. Then, mind you, it wasn't even a location up because it was a free concert. He was on some shit. Like, Future tough for this, too. He basically posted on... He posted the the address at a certain time. Everybody pull up and having a few con a free concert. I remember that he yes. was doing that shit like crazy. every weekend. Yup, he's that like he just dropped the low. Feel me? We was way across Damn, town. Damn, y'all made it there. We was way I know across somebody town. who went and they make it. Yeah, we was <laughs> way across town, bro. We had to go through trains running. Then yeah. when we got there, the line around the the around the, around the fucking block. But I'm like a nigga like me, bro. I I when I want something, I'm not stopping. I gotta get in this bitch. I did not skip school for this shit. Like, if my mother get on my ass about this shit, bro, it better be. I better. I better go to this concert. <laughs> I better see. Andrew I better see future. Word up. That shit crazy. better be worth it. Word I up. better see future. Them niggas was my. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was kind of giving up. I'm like, nah, we gonna get here, bro. So we see in line, start talking to niggas. I'm beating it down. People like, yo, da da da. Feel me? I don't know what the fuck I was saying, bro. But they letting me get to the front of the line. We ended up right at the door. Got right in that bitch. Right in front of future, nigga. I'm looking at this nigga on stage. Mind you, it's like some big ass shit. ASAP Rocky up there, Chris Brown up there. Mad niggas in here. Future got mad celebrities at his concert, right? This shit just lit in here, bro. I just see all type of chains and shit. Feel me? Me and Gua, we on stage, bro. No, we on, we in the crowd and we looking at Future on stage. And I'm like, yo, I'm just starstruck. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you, you feel me? It, I wasn't even starstruck with him. It was the lifestyle. Like, these people singing his songs word for word. Damn, this that's nigga crazy. chain is shining, nigga. Like, what the fuck? What the That's fuck? Crazy. I'm like, yo, I got to be this, bro. But I'm, me and Gua are like, yo, we need to start rapping, bro. And I told y'all my uncle had a, a studio or whatever, you feel me? Yeah. That nigga started recording us. We made our first song. Stone drop, shot our first fucking video. That nigga shot everybody first he video. He shot our yeah. first <laughs> video ever. <laughs> That's That's everybody shot shit. our first video ever. Besides my nigga Stone, he shot our first video ever. And I'm like, yo, I got to get this shit. So then I just started rapping, you feel me? And then I did a world tour. I rapped on Fun Flex. I got a chain, bro. My shit cost 50000 bro. This shit. God, I hear this motherfucker. It's heavy, too. Like, this shit, no cap. Like, Talk that you shit. You feel me? So I, I, <laughs> I went on shit. stage, like, you feel me? Like, I'm I'm doing world tours, North American tours, South America tour. I didn't see so much shit. I went to Jamaica. I'm Man, I'm talking about, I done met some of the most beautiful women in the world, bro. I'm overseas with girls that look like Rihanna, bro. Like, this shit is amazing. Like, a young nigga really living, you feel me? So I'm yeah, like, damn, like, I really yeah. seen that shit. Living I seen life. that nigga Futures do it, and I'm like, yo, I gotta get here, you feel me? But it, I'm not at the level I wanna be yet, but I felt that shit, you feel me? Yeah. I felt what it felt like to be at the top, so now I just gotta 
get that shit for myself. You feel me? You feel me? Shout out to Young and May too for bringing me on tour with her. She helped change my life. Right. You feel me? Like. Shout out to Young and May, you feel me? Like, yeah, you're going to segue in what I was about to get yeah, into next. Yeah. But before up. we segue in there, I wanted to let you say something. I wanted to, uh, yo, why you take that beat from Bro on Fun Flex? Like, why you take all that time from him, man? Yo, <laughs> that nigga ain't had no time it's left, crazy, bro. Yo, and I was so upset. Too. I know he was me... sitting there like, shut the fuck up. Bro, they, gave, they gave me that weak ass elevator beat, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, what is y'all doing? Y'all ain't going to give me something harder than this? Oh, like, I'm, I'm, I was ready for some hard shit to go for. But they gave me this weak ass elevator beat. And then I loud up there and said it was hard. Too. That shit was not hard. <laughs> I was mad as hell, yo. That shit was not hard. But oh, I made the best shit. of that shit, you feel me? I, was like, should, man, I ain't gonna bro. lie, bro. I told that nigga, like, bro, I'm going first. I told my nigga, cool. Shout out to my nigga, cool, yo, you feel me? That's my brother, you feel me? Like, I told the nigga, like, yo, bro, I'm going first. Like, and I got a lot to say, you feel me? Like, yo, word up. I'm watching the freestyle. I'm like, yo. I'm t- I called this nigga when it went off. I'm yeah. like, yo, I'm watching the freestyle. Like, yo. It ain't enough beat left. Like, when the <laughs> other nigga gonna rap? Hey, I'm hitting the time. I'm hitting the time. Like, it's two minutes left. When the other nigga gonna that's rap? That's funny as hell. It's crazy they dropped two parts, too. Like, they dropped two parts of that shit. But I ain't rapped the second one. I, I gave him everything I wanted to say the first time. So. You damn sure did. Mm-hmm. I said, bro, he, he gave him the singing, the rap. I'm first of all, it fucked there. me up, right? When... <laughs> Because I ain't listened to your music. Yeah. And then, you know, people told me about you, so I started bumping yeah. your music. It fucked me up because when you was rapping... Then you just started singing. I'm like, the fuck? Yep. <laughs> I'm like, yo, wait, yep. this nigga sing? Yep. And then that's when I was like, oh, nah, this nigga do both. This I, ain't gonna crazy. Cre- I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the same shit MA said, like, when she first seen me, you feel me? The way she seen me, like, and mind you, I was about to quit rapping too, man. I just had my son. I was gonna ask you that too. You feel me? I just had my son, man. I was about to quit rapping. You feel me? I told myself, like, yo, it, it was this Tracks NYC uh, showcase or whatever. I, I was just showing him that. You no feel funny me? Yup. And he, I was he, just showing him he that. Basically, he basically was giving away a, a Cuban link, right? And then I think the the winner get cash or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the second the, uh, the Cuban link and cash, and it's the the second winner, the second place winner gets a, a, some shit. I don't, it was some weak shit. You feel me? Like a post or some shit. And I'm like, man, I was about to quit rapping. I just had my son. I'm like, man, I'm about to go to the showcase. I know ain't nobody fucking with me. Like I'm about to go win this Cuban link and this money. I'm about to pawn this Cuban link because I don't give a fuck about this weak ass Cuban link. I'm t- I'm gonna pawn that shit. I'm gonna take the money and I'm gonna invest in myself like with the music. You feel me? So I basically gets there and I just felt like it was rigged from the jump, you feel me? Because mm-hmm. they kept they kept like they kept like riding this white boy wave, like and the nigga was weak, you feel me? And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? This shit ain't even authentic or real, you feel me? This nigga talking about my lifestyle. Like you he he rapping about my life and he ain't even living that shit. You feel me? Like yeah. you ain't even you ain't see none of that. You ain't what are you talking about, you feel me? So they gave this nigga the first place shit and I felt so hurt, you feel me? But like a nigga named Twin was there, you feel me? His name Twin, bodyguard. Shout out to my nigga Twin, you feel me? He bodyguard all the celebrities. Everybody know him in the industry, like, you feel me? He he was there, mind you, and May just dropped him off there, you feel me? It was crazy, like, how that shit happened. He went live. She joined this live. He she He's basically recording me rapping from live, you feel me? So she hearing me rapping shit. She joined the live, she hearing me rapping shit. She like, oh, why? Right, should I, right, you feel me? Like, you feel me? But then I start singing, you feel me? Like, she like, damn, like. What the fuck this nigga could sing? And she like, yo, tell that nigga I wanna do a song with him. He she commented on that shit. Like, yo, tell that nigga I wanna do a song with him, you feel me? Damn. So it went from us doing a song with each other to us going on fucking tours, her bringing me on fun facts, you feel me? She really like, she really made a young nigga shine, you feel me? Like, and this all independently, you feel me? Like I'm independent, you feel me? So she just really believe in a nigga and like, yo, go do that, bro. You feel me? Like, you could do that, bro. You feel me? She showed me a lot. She basically like, she helped me develop into the nigga I am today, you feel me? Like Yo, this how you move, you feel me? Yo, make sure you tap in, you feel me? A lot of niggas, a lot of niggas be so stupid, bro. Niggas like, bro, when you tap, when you go to them niggas city, bro, you gotta tap in, you feel me? And niggas be thinking like, oh, tapping in me, like, yo, um, like, yo, I'm in your city, is I'm, am I good? Hell no, I ain't never tapping in with no nigga like that. Even go with you, please. But you gotta tap in, like, you gotta make sure you know niggas out there, you feel me? Because you gotta move tack, bro. You can't just be going to cities and thinking you good. You gotta tap in with somebody. Make sure that firearm there, you feel me? Like, that shit gonna take you a long way, having knowing niggas in the city, because they gonna bring in niggas, they gonna make sure you good, you feel me? Yeah. And love take you a long way, you feel me? So every city you gotta tap in, bro. Like, I'll tell that to any artist out there, like, Make sure y'all tapping in with them niggas, bro. When y'all when y'all go to these niggas city, bro, because you want to make sure you good. You want to make sure you get back to your family. That shit don't make you soft. That shit don't make you less of a man. 
you just making sure you smart, bro. You got to move smart out here. You feel me? You go to Cali, you got to tap in with Big U. You feel me? You got to tap in with them niggas. Like, yo, we out here, da da da. They going to want you to pull up, to show love, to go to their schools. They going to bring you around the kids. Like, yo, take some pictures with them. That's how they, feel me, tap in. You feel me? Them niggas going to know everything about you. Like, where That's you staying crazy. at. Yo, I'm trying to tell y'all this shit treacherous out Yo, here. Yo, Rich Homie Quan said the same, the right. exact I, I word you saying. He said, yeah, the, he said, same. I was saying he said, he said the, the same the word, word for word. word. He said, Tapped Yo, we went out to Cali. To, he gonna he have tapped up with Big U. They pulled up. He ain't nah, know what it was. Big U told that nigga. He said, Big U told him, I know your hotel. I know where you stand. I know where you eating. I know when your flight landed. I know all that. And all Big U wanted him to do was take pictures with the kids. Nigga, I'm talking about every city we went to. He said the exact same shit. Like, we tapping in. It was good. We know somebody out there. We got something out there. You feel me? We good. You feel me? Shout from Chicago, any place you want to know. Miami, you feel me? We we locked in every city. You feel me? So any place I go, I'm, I'm making sure I tap in. Yo, I fuck with y'all. Da da da. You feel me? You gotta know how to move out here. You gotta play chess, man. It's all about you feel me? Chess, not checkers, man. Whatever the saying is, like you gotta just move smart. You feel me? Yeah, but like, shit. word, I was about to quit rapping and shit. You feel me? And like, bro, I f she she said that, and then like. As soon as I said I was about to quit, God showed me, like, yo, you can't do that, bro. I, I got something planned for you. You feel me? This this shit. You got to keep going with this shit. You feel me? And then it was like, you feel me? She That's posted tough. a nigga. I got 14,000 followers in one day, bro. Like, mm, damn. Shout out to Young and May. Shout out to Young and May. She took me right, on tour. Red life. She took me on tour the first post time. Post me. Give me that 14. <laughs> I went from 14K. Then we went on tour. I mm. came on tour. I was at 21,000 followers. It was all organic from performing. Touching the people, you feel right. me? Right. Holding them, hugging them, you feel me? Letting them talk to them, telling them my story, you feel me? I'm up there singing my heart out, you feel me? So the next tour, you feel me? I did all type of shit, just gaining my followers up. Now I'm at like 42,000 followers, you feel me? And that shit gonna keep building up, you feel me? All, all organic followers, like, you feel me? All people who genuinely love me, you feel me? Like, wanna see what's my next move, what I'm doing, you feel me? So yeah. Word up. That's fine. Dude, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I'm... Your mind ain't even a talent. Your mind state yeah. with creating generational wealth yeah. and moving your move, moving the name and the brand of Max to another level. Yeah, is amazing. I like, appreciate that. Bro, a lot of real. people, a lot nah, because a lot of people don't look at that shit like that. They think, they think it's just like yo, we move one way, we get we get this. Like you see the business part in it, mm -hmm. and you understood it. So when it came, it might have drew, it might have took the fun out of it for you. Yeah. But when it came, you embraced it. Yeah. Because you didn't walk in here not knowing. Like you was prepared. Like yeah. the day you was like, yo, I'm gonna take this serious. I'm gonna take my name serious. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my manager. I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna go get that. Road manager this. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, I don't ever want to be in trouble. I don't want no IRS shit. I don't mm -hmm. want none of that. And I respect that because I appreciate yo, that, bro. younger artists do not understand that. Yeah, and I, I gotta, fact. I gotta give that credit to my mother though, bro. Real shit this is how she raised me. You feel me? Like I'm just a young. My mother is older. You feel me? So it's like she, she, she ain't too, she ain't old, old, but she old. You feel me? She got, <laughs> she wise. You feel me? She a strong woman. Like I watched my mother go from nothing to something. You feel me? My mother own her home. She got a nice ass car. You feel me? Her credit is great. She could go get anything she want to go get. You feel me? My mother is that. You feel me? She raised me to be. The nigga I am today, like, yo, make sure you on your P's and Q's at all times. Don't be signing your life away. Make sure you know what you signing. Make sure you know what you doing with yourself. You feel me? Listen, you somebody. You can't just be moving any kind of way. That's what gets you killed. Every time, so, no disrespect to no artist, no rapper, but every time a rapper pass away, she always say, look, you see how this artist did da da da. Make sure you learn from that mistake. Don't be like that. Do this. Make sure you do what you're supposed to do. You feel me? All so right. it's like she just be keeping me on my on my shit, bro. My mother don't play by me, man. And then my pops are real street niggas, so it's like I got book and street smarts. I got the best of both worlds, and I'm really come from that. You feel me? Like a lot of niggas can't say they know how that hot shit feel. You feel me? I didn't watch my friends die. My friends die right next to my house. I done seen a lot of shit, you feel me, that a young person ain't supposed to be seeing, you feel me? That's not life, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I seen more life, so I know it's more to this shit, you feel me? And, like, those the generational wealth, that's just, like, that's just a dream of mine from just studying the greats, like Michael Jackson and uh, Drake and, you feel me, Prince, niggas like that, owning your masters and just being in control of your destiny, you feel me, being a boss, you feel me? Like, that's just having a boss mindset. It's really a mindset, like... A lot, of a lot of niggas don't have, and that comes from seeing more and just knowing you, knowing your worth for real. You feel me? Like knowing what you could uh, accomplish in this world. Like I know I could get anything. I can. It's nothing you can't tell me I can't do. I literally, I could call any friend right now and ask them like, "Yo, bro, then there was was we not in my basement 
And I wasn't telling niggas like, yo, we need to practice for Fun Flex one day. We gonna be on Fun Flex one day. Like I got niggas that vouch for this shit. Like I was telling niggas this shit. Like I I, I manifested this shit. You feel me? I told niggas I was gonna go on the world tour with that. I used to be practicing. Ask my grandmother, my mother. I used to be in my basement screaming so loud, yelling. Feel me until I found my sound. Like 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 I'm really practicing. You feel me? Like this shit. Like this shit ain't no joke. You feel me? And that's why I feel like. For me, for artists like me, it's harder, be feel me, you feel me? Because I got to really put the work in. Like, I ain't out here beefing with niggas. Like, I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to, I don't want to kill nobody. You feel me? My niggas go through that. I come from niggas that doing that. You feel me? I want more for myself. So, nigga like me got to work extra harder. You feel me? Because I'm not coming with that negative energy. And that negative energy bring you so much attention. When you a nigga like me that's really making them real music and, like, really trying to touch the fan in a different way, it's harder for you, you feel me? You got to put more work in, you feel me? But that's what's going to make it more beautiful for me when I really get to, to where I want to be because I know all the work I put together, you feel me? So that's why my mindset is like that. My mother, man, she raised me like this, like, and I just got to give all credit to my mother because I appreciate yeah. and love my mother word up. Drop the homes for Shout mom out dudes, to mama. Shout, Shout out to mama. Shout out to mama. Shout out to mama. Shout out to moms, man. Shout out to my mother and my father, man. Shout out to his pops. Yeah, shout out to your pops too. Yeah, shout out to your pops too. Yeah, to your pops too. So that play a part why you chose independent, or you just didn't even you don't even talk to labels, or you just was like, yo, I'm going this direction. Well, Young and May got a strong, strong, strong like, like she put a lot in me on being independent. Mm -hmm. But my dream is signing to a major label. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's. It's, it's, I would never reach my level that I want to be there unless I do that. You feel me? They would never let an independent artist reach that mega star. So what I'm doing is... I'm going to agree with you. So I'm going to agree with you. What I'm going to do is... Dude, well, they going to let me. They going to let me. <laughs> you feel me? But I, it's going to be on my terms. So what I'm doing is I'm basically creating leverage. You feel me? I'm basically... I, I could say I got fans and millions of streams. I could say I did world tours. I could did fun flex. I got a lot on my resume. You feel me? So basically... Right now, my goal is I'm about to once I drop this project, I want I know the I know something on they gonna blow. You feel me? Because I got I was previewing music, them shits touched like eighty thousand views on my reels and shit like that. People fucking with that shit. You feel me? So when I drop my project, it's gonna go. You feel me? But what I'm doing is basically creating leverage. So when I go to a, le a label, I'ma say, look, I got all this. Like this is what I did for myself. So look, we could get into business with each other and we can help each other make millions. You feel me? You not I don't I don't. I don't work for you. You work for me. You feel me? So basically, like, I'm trying to create that leverage where I could be in a situation like Bad Bunny. You feel me? He got he in a 90-10 deal. Like, that's unheard of. You get what I'm saying? Like, Damn. anytime he drop an album, like, say, like, I'm when, like, when I'm done with my album and I just go turn that bitch in, that man getting $36 million off rip because he got 90-10 deal. Like, he got a 90-10 deal. All his, the revenue, he get most of the revenue off his world tours, the tours he do, his shows, his stadiums. All that's because that man created that leverage in order to get that deal. You feel me? So that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm trying to create that leverage, being independent, and showing them what I did, and like damn. Nah, that's a good, that's a good deal, cause the uh, the artist Russ. Right, I was about to say Russ. When did he some signed, shit like when that. he yeah, signed yeah. this deal, mm -hmm. whatever deal he signed, he told them they don't get a dollar off the back catalog mm -hmm. yeah. because he knew he can when with they that pushed him, mm -hmm. they everybody who didn't him before was gonna listen. He said, "Y'all don't make no money off it." Yep. Right. they dumbasses agreed, but you know I mean? so, <laughs> and it went up from there. That's I how own, he started performing. I too. own all mm -hmm. my masters. I own everything about me. You feel me? So. A nigga, a label ain't gonna be able to play with me like that. You feel me? And I'm actually about to sign to a label soon, so that's another exclusive. You feel that's me? What's up. You feel that's me? What's so what's I'm up. about to sign to a label soon. You feel me? Like it's about to be that time. You feel me? Because I, I, I'm tired of putting my all into shit and it's not getting what it deserves. You feel me? So ain't nothing wrong with signing to a label. You feel me? You just make sure that them terms and agreements is correct. They ain't, they ain't, you ain't no slave. You feel me? Everything right. You feel me? Oh, they yeah. can eat, but you, I'm, you eat more. You feel me? That's how that shit go. You feel me? So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. That's real shit. I got mm -hmm. a question though. Is young young billionaire still a thing? Yes, yes, hell yeah. Right. It's me and Guav, young billionaires, Max Y B. That's what that way YB stand for. Young right. billionaires, you feel me? So at the end of the day, it's like, feel me? Once I once I get on, I'm trying to sign, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to a point where like I, I Guav is my favorite rapper, you feel me? And like people don't know how talented this man is. Like I don't write music. I, I have a problem writing music. He can write music so great, like you feel me? All my songs come like when I get to the booth, like I right, play that beat. I right, look, bet I'ma say this, da 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 da. da I'm punch me in, you feel me? Like I just, I gotta, got you. you feel me? So that nigga Guav, he be having that shit written and like he's so talented, bro. Like so that's my that's my goal. I want to become a superstar, then make my brother a superstar, so he can see everything I seen too. You feel me? Right. And that's my dog. Like you feel me? That's the only nigga I owe something to at the end of the day. You feel me? Because he is YB. I, it's no YB without Guava YB. It's no Max mm. YB without. 
without Guavo, I be. You feel me? He is Max. I am Guavo. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I'm just leading this shit right now. You feel me? But the dream is to have generational wealth where we both own our label. We both sign the artist one day. We both got hit records and houses, millions, shit like that. Just mm-hmm. right. we just we good. You feel me? So that's the goal. I'm building this for life, man. For it up. What's the studio session like with Max Y B? Oh man. Studio yeah. session with Max Y B is that shit is like watching a movie, man. You feel me? Cause you gonna literally watch me create something from nothing. Like, like just it's just I don't know. I think that shit is just something beautiful. And I can't wait for like the world to see that shit. Like, cause I'm a, I'm gonna put that shit, I'm gonna display that shit. You feel me? I'm working on the documentary right now, you feel me? So Fire. when I do get to the point where I am, they gonna see everything I went through, you feel me? Like my, my blood shed and tears, you feel me? Shout out to my nigga Stone. We working on the documentary right now. We got a lot of shit. You feel me? Niggas is going crazy. So like, if it, like say you had a contest and shit, like, and if, um, a, like a day in the life with Max B for a fan to come just chill with Max Y B one day, mm-hmm. go to the studio, like do all the shit you doing one day, mm-hmm. what they could expect, like, like what could you expect? You gonna expect the fucking laugh? You just gonna be laughing for real. We gonna have a good ass sound, like you feel <laughs> me? You in that studio with, with me? First of all, ain't none of that sleeping shit. Yo, drink this, take smoke this, whatever you do, drink, smoke, whatever you do, even if you don't. You don't do none of that, man. You better be turned in this bitch. You feel me? Like, be Word. lit. You feel me? Give me your opinion on your song. Oh, that shit all. Like, feel me? You don't. I, I like being in the studio with people who going to open their mouth, say, yo, I fuck with that, but da da da. You feel me? Yo, Matt, try this, da da da. You feel me? Yo, that shit hard, but bro, you, could, you probably could have did that better. Like, I, I take constructive criticism. You feel me? Like, you ain't telling me my shit bad. Can't nobody tell me my shit bad. So, but I take heed to everything people tell me. You feel me? Because I truly want to, like, please my fans. You feel me? And mm. the consumer. You feel me? So, word up. That's fire. What's some of your favorite artists to work with? Like who I want to work with, or like from who you like who you've worked with already. Even if you do want to work with them, you ain't get to work with them yet. Um, I want to work with Albi Al. I want to work with um. I want I wanted to work with Sue Surf, Free Sue Surf, man. Right, uh, Free Surf, Free Surf. Free um, surf. I want to work with Sue Surf. Um, me and Chicken got some bangers. I ain't gonna lie. Like me and Mister Chicken. And them shit is on SoundCloud. Like I think we, we we got one song on my on my shit called Shorty Bad Part Two. That shit doing good for me too. Right. You feel me? But um, I think yo I ain't gonna lie. Me and Chicken got a lot of dope records. You feel me? Like we I make a lot of good music. And Chicken a, a nigga who I um who I um kind of came up with. You feel me? I came up with a lot of niggas, but like Chicken, I I watched him get to where he he is right now. Shout out to Mr. Chicken. You feel me? Right. Shout out to all the artists in my city. Shout out to Big Creamy. That's my big brother. You feel me? Shout out to Big Creamy. You waiting um, for you to come on the podcast, bro? Yeah. Who Big Creamy? Yes. Oh yeah, I got you. That's gonna we gonna make it happen. Say no more. Hold on. We about to call him real quick. I knew that was happening. This is a this is mind you, mind you. The on, this is the second time he getting called on the episode. Word. This is the second time. Second time. Just oh, called to, him too. I'm about to call him right now, man. Say no more. Say no more. You about to call Big Krimi right now. Krim not trying to come on the pod. Nah, he ain't. Hey, Krim. He they trying to get you uh, up when here, When you coming bro. on the podcast, bro, you playing. Look, we up here right now, bro. They want you to pull up, bro. When, when y'all ready for the pull up? Whenever. Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Not tomorrow? Nah, I got to be on the Thursday. Oh, on the Thursday? <laughs> yeah, on the Thursday. All right, so next Thursday, Krim, they said. All right, best. Say no more, bro. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Big Krimi, you feel me? Shout out to Big Krimi, you feel me? That's one of the niggas that, feel me, helped me get to where I am today, too, feel me? He had a lot of, like, you feel me, giving me wisdom, just, like, do's and don'ts, you feel me? Word. Like, that's my nigga, man. Shout out to Big Krimi. Yeah, I seen, I seen y'all had a lot of shit going on earlier, like, in your career type yeah, shit. Yeah, like, hell yeah. I seen y'all had mad music. We from the same hood, you feel Facts. me? Like, we, feel me? Krimi got a lot of shit coming, too. Like, he, niggas is about to turn up, you feel me? I feel like, for my city, like, we... We got the we got the biggest artist from my part of the town in the city. Right. I ain't gonna lie, you yeah, y'all me? definitely do. You right. feel me? You got <laughs> Krimi, Lil <laughs> Dev, Lil, Lil Dev just signed his deal. Feel me? He doing big shit. Shout out Lil Dev. Feel me? And I, I, me, I'm just working. You feel me? So everybody know what I do, like from the city. So feel me? But shout out to Mr. Chicken too. Like he doing his damn thing. You feel me? Like that's like he like the one of the niggas I really know that really went got they blue check. I seen that nigga do what he do. You feel me? So I, I seen just a chicken in the studio. Like. Fire. You feel me? So, word up. All right, Ray got a game he play. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Ray. Break it down to him. He about to break it down to you. So, we do cap or facts, bro. I'm going to ask you five questions. I'm going to ask you, is it cap or is it facts? And you give a reason. or You don't got to give a reason. Okay. If you don't want to. It's only five questions, too. So, I said, um, you can't make excuses when you the issue. Cap or facts? 
Facts. Why you think that's facts? Because, like, that's like a nigga sitting around like, yo, I'm broke as hell. And you sitting in the house all day, bro. Facts. What the fuck you think gonna happen? I agree. I agree. What the fuck you think gonna happen? You gonna be you broke, gonna nigga. Be broke. Sitting in the house all day, you feel me? I mean, if you sitting in the house today and you got motion while sitting in the house, then that's different. Mm, but, different. like, if you just sitting in your sorrow, like, ain't shit gonna change, bro. You gotta go do something. Go right. make something happen, you feel me? Hell yeah. Word up. And you're, you're an artist, so this this gonna be an easy question for you, I think mm -hmm. so. And you're an established artist. Do you need a team? Cap or facts? You need a team. Where? You need a team. Nobody can do nothing in this world by themselves. You right. feel me? Being independent is cool. That's independent is definitely you doing it by yourself, but you need a team. You feel me? You need niggas that's going, yo, can you, like, yo, you can set this up for me, bro. Like, you, as an artist, you should just want to be focused on music. You feel me? You should have, like, people pointed to do things for you and everybody eating. You feel me? At the end of the day, that's the true thing about being a boss and you eat last at the end of the day. You feel me? When you the boss. So it's like, you gotta, you need a team, you feel me? Like, that's why I'm about to sign my deal, because I, I need my team, you feel me? I need a team. Like, right. well, one, if shit happen how, how I think it is, then yeah, I need Facts. my team. Facts. You feel I me? Agree with I you. agree with that shit. You feel me? You need a team. Um, You can't succeed without failing first. Facts. You, you gotta lose the win. That's Hell just how yeah. the game is played, bro. You gotta lose to win. In order for you to win, you gotta know what it feel like to lose. And I feel like if you winning too much, like, you ain't gonna know how to. Take it when the L come, you feel me? Like you wanna crash and burn, you feel me? So that's what that's why God teaches us lessons. Like you gotta you gotta lose to win, bro. Word up. Facts, I agree with that. Um cap of facts, overreacting has its consequences. Facts. I'm a ah oh, man. I overreacted to a lot of shit, you feel me? And I don't it's not good to burn no bridges with nobody, you feel me? So I overreacted to a lot of shit and sometimes that shit could mess up a relationship that you truly cherish, you feel me? So right. try not to overreact to everything, people. Like, try to, like, think before you speak and think before you do something, even if you're furious at the time, you feel me? Because all that shit is just anger, and you don't really mean that shit. Word up. Real shit. And my last question is, uh, cap of facts, Jay-Z is the height. He's, like, the ceiling for rapper slash artist. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's my whole mindset. I don't really... I mean, I love music, but that shit just to get that money, bro. I'm trying to, like, take care of my family, bro. Like, sure. I want Hell my yeah. family struggling. I want my son to have... My son already got everything he want. He don't want for nothing, but I want him to know, like, yo, I am wealthy. You feel me? I ain't trying to be rich. I want to be wealthy. You feel me? Like, where I could sl sit down and sleep all day, and I'm making money while I sleep. You feel me? That's the whole... That's the goal for me. You feel me? And music is just the way to get into that, you feel me? Because I'm going to touch all avenues, acting, everything. I want to do everything, you feel me? Word. Like, I want to sign, have my own artist. Like, it's all about creating mad streams of, of income for yourself, yeah. you feel me? So that's what that's it's about. Shit. Word up. You the first person to answer all shit's the same answer. Word all up. five is all facts. Facts. Yeah, you <laughs> was. Facts. But good looking out, man. We do want to thank you for coming up here because we know you're a busy, busy dude. Yes, facts. Sir. Well, that's why I so went long. from... Even the time we're recording it, we we even moved it because we know you be out of here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> on, before you go, before you go, you had y'all had got interviewed by the funniest nigga on the gram. Funny, <laughs> oh, that um, nigga funny as hell. I just gotta bring that nigga up. Yo, that shout shit out, had me crying. Shout out to Funny Marco. That's like people don't even know. Like that's really my, that's really our family. Like that's really family. You feel me? Like that's my brother. You feel me? He didn't did hosted matter the petty wop parties. Like he been around slept. You feel me? I like he. So me slept in the crib with niggas like he he family you feel me that's bro like that's crazy you feel me so like that nigga is really bro like you feel me so when people watch that shit he was just doing that you feel me but he really family you feel me that's my yeah, nigga you bro feel me he shit. he and he he I wasn't even supposed to be a part of that shit feel me he kept saying like yo bro just come feel me show your face like yo da da, da. he follow a nigga everything he he listened to my music he then put me in on with producers and shit like that who coming up in the industry and shit like that. So shout out to Funny Marco, man. That's a good nigga, man. I didn't watch that man come from nothing to something, for real. Word. Shout out to Funny Marco. Just like if we about to watch y'all niggas come yeah. from nothing to something. Hold up. Hey, yo, Stone asked for Ray to spit. Ray, you going to spit? Spit what? Yo, freestyle that you said you spit on. All right, fuck it. Play the beat. There you go. There you go. There you go. Fuck, <laughs> it. Oh, fuck it. Play the beat. Turn Hold it on. Up let me him. connect it. Let me connect it. Hold on. Let me connect it. Let me connect it. I got you. I had disconnected it while we was doing the interview. We could do it. We can do it. Yeah. I was about to let him get up. I'm like, nah, niggas definitely ask for you to rap. Let me hear man. I got you. Let me connect you.
Yo, y'all seen them niggas Gilly just signed for a hundred million dollar deal? Swear to God, bro. Man, listen, man. Y'all niggas keep going, man. Y'all remind me of them niggas too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I like y'all connection and shit, bro. For real. That hundred M sound crazy. Yeah. Young Stallion. Big dog Big for real, nigga. On Look. the keyboard and shit. Uh. Look, let's take this from the top, uh I've been through a lot, now nah, I just wanna make a lot I'ma take, now fake the shot, uh Lost it since a kid, I've been scarred, lost my rib I was always out the crib, some shit I wish I never did But that made me who I am, turned this boy straight to a man Went from standing on the curb, now I put together words Never had to flip a bird, never had to pitch a herb Never had nothing but fam, that's why I always put them first I be going out my way, so you would never hear me brag I be down most of my days, but you can't tell by my laugh you can't tell by my smile so when i'm quiet i might just wow and the jungle keep me focused but it's hard for me to open ones i let into my energy they left me feeling hopeless this the only time i speak my peace know how i feel not to get no sleep i go through depression i'm just empty in my weapon once i finally let these thoughts out my mind it feel refreshing i just really miss my aunt for real because we ain't have more time to build ups and downs with my pops i know that you ain't uncle phil i know that we ain't grow up in bel air seen beverly hills but i appreciate you dog the love you show me and how you kept it real I know you want them family vibes I know you probably hurt inside I know that your heart is pure Know you wish there was there more But that's why I'ma leave it at No bringing back the past I know Damn. you is the way you is with me Cause you see me grow up fast I always miss my younger days Knowing that it's memories Second grade, broken leg From running across Kennedy Grandma lived on Lexington Was raised across from Mexicans We okay from poverty That's why I try my best to win I just want the world to feel me And then I feel accomplished Get this money, fuck the fame my my heart singing like Sinatra, my heart singing like an opera, my heart singing like a roster, my heart singing like eighth graders in front pamers plus your mama. I ain't really got no point to prove, and I ain't trying to prove a point. I just know I'm God, and like he sent me here to use my voice. That was fire, bro. That was fire, bro. What the be, fuck, you know, bro? Sunlight, man. <laughs> that was fire, bro. Nah, I ain't yeah. expect that, Ryan. I know you did. <laughs> Mind, Mind you, he shot know. it by himself for a promo before you came. And then I was like, nah, I'm going to make that nigga rap that shit again. Yeah, that man. shit was fire. Who the fuck made that beat, too? He That's, said that um, was a G Herbo shit. Track. Yeah. Um, some nigga, Let me hear that shit again. Some niggas swear. <laughs> nah, you burnt that shit, bro, for real. Yeah, looking, bro. Turn up a little bit. Got you. Hold up. Damn. Damn, he said. Uh, we can find the changes, baby. I sit back, I thank the Lord. All them times facing death, I'm grateful I ain't need the Lord. Grateful for my haters, all the people that I thought I love. Grateful for my struggles, swear to God, I see you ready, Lord. Precious. So I love my son and for my baby, sending pressure. I can't trust nobody, I'm just praying I do better. Crying every day, but I'm still walking with my head up. He just lost his homie, now he's spinning, he won't let up. Damn, shit, there you go. There you go. There you go. Man, yeah. I know the vibe. The young stallion Ray Spitter, man. You know, big dog for real. Man, man that, that nigga just talking that shit. Y'all got tap in with bro for real. He just, man, listen, you gotta record that. I ain't gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for coming through here, man. Nah, we appreciate you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Better the cheddar, the better the watch, the better the watch. You fit a description. Watch your head in the drop. Ahead of my time. I'm never gonna stop. I'm what they've been missing.